Hello everyone. Now today we have Nehal along with us and he is going to perform another functional group which is alcohol. So a sample is given to you Nehal and it is alcohol. Even if you don't know what is the sample you can follow some steps out of our practical and you can understand which organic compound is given to you. So I am telling you that it is alcohol. So you are knowing it is alcohol and knowingly we are going to test it. So how many tests are there for alcohol? Three. Three. Very good. Which three test? First is the ester test, second is sodium metal test and the third one is silica ammonium nitrate test. Very good. So you can change the sequence as well but why we are going to perform ester test first because in ester test we require a water bath. Hana? So that is why we have already uh, arranged an assembly where uh, in the water bath water is being heated and uh, in this hot water we will be keeping our test tube later on for the ester test. So uh, the assembly is already re ready and uh, 10 minutes of heating is needed, uh, 7 to 10 minutes heating is needed in the ester test. That is why uh, we will perform ester test first. Okay, beta? So for ester test what has to be done? In ester test... Uh, you will be taking yes is to be taken and okay. it has to be mixed with first of all dilute acetic acid and then concentrated H2SO4 drop wise some drop -wise. drops okay and then we have to give it a heat bath okay you will be keeping that test tube for 10 minutes in the hot water bath and then in the meanwhile we will perform the other two tests that is sodium metal test and seric ammonium so please go ahead take your test tube with the sample yes So he is collecting the sample in the test tube and now next word you, you will have to add 1 ml around roughly 1 ml we cannot measure and um, uh, actually we have to add 1 ml but roughly with the help of uh, dropper you add 1 ml of acetic acid to the test tube. Yes, and in the same test tube, you have to add concentrated sulfuric acid. Yes, now keep this test tube in the hot water bath for around 7 to 10 minutes. Yes, now uh, let it heat. This reaction will lead to the esterification right ester will be formed which is a fruity smell smelling substance so when alcohol reacts with acid or when acid reacts with alcohol then ester is formed so you should be knowing that in carboxylic acids also the same ester test will be performing right beta yes. so let it get heated for some time and meanwhile you take another test tube collect some sample and perform the sodium metal test We have already kept a piece of sodium metal here in the watch glass which Nehal will take with the help of spatula and he is going to put it in the test tube. Yes. Now can you see what is happening? Can we see? Yes. This is... This is getting dissolved and actually this is reacting with the alcohol and the sodium piece will be soon disappear, right? And this tells us that, uh, can you tell which gas will be evolved? Carbon dioxide. No, how can carbon dioxide will, uh, can be evolved? You have taken alcohol, hydrogen gas will be evolved. If you want to test it, you can bring a burning splinter near the mouth of the test tube you will get the pop sound of the evolution of hydrogen gas but if sodium piece is reacting with your sample it is alcohol although alcohol cannot be taken as a very sure test for testing uh, alcohols because alcohol reacts with aldehyde and ketone as well but uh, once you have performed any seric ammonium nitrate or ester test and you are confirmed that your sample is alcohol then you can perform sodium metal test 
as well in book sodium metal test is given as confirmatory test for alcohol so you can proceed with it now uh, in the third test you will collect some sample and you you will perform which test ceric ammonium nitrate with ceric ammonium nitrate what will happen to a small quantity of the given sample the color will change to blood red color yes on adding ceric ammonium nitrate and if the sample is not alcohol blood red color will not come it will remain orange only in aldehyde and acid and acetone yes acetone or any ketone if you have got generally in lab we keep acetone so add some ceric ammonium nitrate solution see the original color of ceric ammonium nitrate is orange and when you add it to alcohol yes show it properly it's red color blood red color you can add a little more for proper red color yes very good can you see it's a deep red color appearing in the test tube so this test of ceric ammonium nitrate confirms the presence of alcohol in the sample now keep this test tube aside beta very good now come back to your water bath take out your test tube it is being heated since long time nehal can you take out yes ma'am and you have to pour the contents of the test tube in the cold water so pour the contents and you have to smell this content you will be getting fruity smelling sweet. ester formation yes sweet smell no so this was esterification reaction right so these were the three test ester test ceric ammonium nitrate and sodium metal test for alcohol so thank you so much beta i hope everybody understood thank you okay